the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is ready to give the A16 Bionic a run for its money in the CPU department. But it seems that Apple will secure the coveted top spot again with the upcoming A17 Bionic, which is based on TSMC's 3 nanometer note. Meanwhile, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and Demon City 9300 will still use TSMC 4 nanometer processes. Qualcomm sure made the right moves with the Snapdragon 8 lineup. The Gen 1 used TSMC's 4 nanometer fab, while the Gen 2 is also a hit, proving that the lineup isn't just a one hit wonder. The upcoming Gen 3 is expected to beat the current A16 Bionic, but it looks like Apple isn't going to let the Gen 3 bask in the spotlight for too long. As reports suggest, the upcoming A17 Bionic will steal the top performer title back. According to rumors, Apple has allegedly secured TSMC's entire 3 nanometer production capacity, leaving its competitors Qualcomm and MediaTek in a challenging predicament. As TSMC's top client, Apple will inevitably receive priority treatment over others. Moreover, in addition to the A17 Bionic, it is suspected that the upcoming M3 SOC series will also utilize TSMC's 3 nanometer manufacturing processes. Reportedly, the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max will incorporate the A17 Bionic chip, while the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 will be utilized in the Samsung Galaxy S24 and several other high-end Android smartphones in 2024. It is probable that there will be a constant exchange of repositioning as to which SOC is the most powerful in the industry. As Apple and Qualcomm regularly release the latest top of the line SOC models. Thank you for watching and see you in my next videos.